G'day and welcome to Accelerate Maths. In this lesson, we're going to learn the speed, distance and time rules and how to apply them to real life. To remember the three rules, let's use a DST triangle. Notice that the D, S and T are in alphabetical order. First, let's find the distance rule. Highlight the D. Because the S and T are alongside each other, we'll multiply. So distance equals speed multiplied by time. Now let's use the triangle to find the speed rule. OK, highlight the S. Because the D is above the T, we divide. Speed equals distance divided by time. Now for the third rule to find the time. Highlight the T in the triangle. Because D is above the S, we'll divide. So the time equals distance divided by speed. Easy to remember? Now let's test you out. Let's find the distance. A car travels at a speed of 100 kilometres per hour for four hours. How far does it travel? Hey, remember the DST triangle? Distance equals speed multiplied by time. The speed is 100 kilometres per hour and the time is four hours. So when we multiply them, the distance equals 400 kilometres. In the second example, let's find the speed. An express train travels 1,500 kilometres in three hours. How fast does it travel? OK, here's the DST triangle. Speed equals distance over time. We know the distance is 1,500 kilometres and we know the time is three hours. So the speed is a super fast 500 kilometres per hour. Now let's do an example to find the time at a snail's pace. A snail moves 80 millimetres at a speed of 10 millimetres per second. How long does this take? From the DST triangle, the rule is time equals distance divided by speed. That's a distance of 80 millimetres divided by a speed of 10 millimetres per second. That gives a time of 8 seconds for the snail to slime across my foot. Alright, here's a challenge question. A snake can attack you in 0.2 seconds if you are 3 metres away. How fast is that? Speed equals distance over time. The distance is 3 metres, the time is 0.2 seconds. So the snake's speed is 15 metres per second. And now for the last challenge. The distance from the Earth to the Moon is 384 thousand kilometers. If a rocket travels at a constant speed of seven kilometers per second in a direct path, how long would the journey take? Time equals distance over speed. The distance is 384,000 kilometers. The speed is seven kilometers per second. So the answer is 54,914 seconds. But then we need to divide by 60 to change seconds to minutes. And then we need to divide by 60 again to change minutes to hours. The final answer then is 15.25 hours for a rocket to travel from the Earth to the Moon. Mm -hmm. 